The sight of gushing waste water flowing downstream is common at the Kampala city abattoir each morning after the animals are slaughtered. At least 40,000 liters are trapped here every day and fed into hydraulic units at the Bioinnovate project plant. Uh, it is composed of uh, blood and undigested stomach contents. So most of it uh, flows into uh, natural channels and goes into uh, Murchison Bay, Lake Victoria. The water is fed into digesters where chemical and biological reactions occur. The first one is the anaerobic digester, which keeps the waste water for at least 48 hours. It is oxygen free. The bacteria uh, ferment uh, wastes uh, in the absence of oxygen. Here, organic materials like animal or food waste are broken down by bacteria before gases like methane are formed. After this, the water is sent to the aerobic reactor. The waste water stays there for about 12 hours. After that, we feed through that equalization tank into the biogas digester where the methane is formed by the methanogenic bacteria. This process is called aeration. It's supposed to remove the nitrogen, which is a pollutant in the wastewater. It's also removing other microorganisms that could be in this wastewater. Now, this is one of the most carefully crafted processes here at the plant to conserve the environment. The plant produces about 60,000 liters of gas and generates 20 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power at least 50 homes. Biogas, you know, at Yambako security lights. The plant powers security lights and deep freezers, especially at night. The waste water is finally fed into a pilot scale wetland, measuring 13 meters by 5 meters. Uh, we use papyrus. Uh, the papyrus has roots. Uh, the gravel also uh, filter out the suspended solids. The treated water is then released into the drainage channel. Perhaps this serves to highlight the importance of wetlands in filtering water and removing pollutants. The project started six years ago. I came across the city but as one of the major polluters of Lake Victoria. So that gave me uh, a, a, a drive to find a solution for that type of waste. It is a collaborative research between Makerere University Department of Biochemistry with funding from the Swedish International Development Corporation, SIDA. But Dr. Chambade says they need about $250,000 to be able to treat the remaining 60,000 liters of waste water. And uh, the objective of the second phase is to have uh, the system rolled out or scaled up to other industries within Uganda and the region, East African region, that have similar uh, environmental challenges. If they expand the project, it will power the whole abattoir. The system can treat any waste water derived from living organisms. Be it from a fish processing industry, even sewage, even domestic waste. This system is very flexible that it can be scaled down even for, home, for, domestic, for domestic use. Part of the waste is also sent to this compartment to be turned to compost. This project stands out as a model innovation in an era of rapid industrialization and little consideration for environmental conservation. Moses Akena, NTV, Nature Files.